won the Ultimate Loss 45. Some great guitar playing on this record. Let me go to Billboard's Hot 100, November 26, 1961. The thumbnail to uh, as presented by Magazine Archives. Billboard's, I, oh my goodness, I love looking at these Hot 100s. God, look at this. <laughs> Yes, man, and they even got bubbling under the Hot 100 on here, and and, and before I leave 1961, I know there's one or two songs I want to do from the uh, bubbling under the Hot 100 1961. Uh, there's one by Adam Wade that I, I'd, I'd like to play if possible, maybe later on, and there's one by Eddie Harris off the old VJ record label with VJ up, up in uh, Chicago, and uh, oh well, I'll get to that later. Uh, let me go ahead to put all this in perspective. Read you the top. Let me read you the top. Uh, let me go down. Let me go down on Billboard. Uh, let me just uh, swing on. Let me give you the top five hits that week. November 26, 1961, Billboard's Hot 100. At number five, we got the Bristol Stump by the DeVales. At uh, number four, Goodbye, Crew World by James Darren. My favorite song by James Darren was Conscious. And uh, the one he did, uh, Gidget, uh, that he did was really good record. Uh, uh, James Darren, full number one by Brenda Lee. You know, at number three, you know the thing about Brenda Lee, she sounds like a full-grown woman on a lot of her songs. But she was only 18 years old when she came out with that record, full number one, born in 19... No, actually, she's younger than that, about 16 or 17, born in 1944. Number two, Run Around Sue by Dion. Number one, Big Bad John by Jimmy Dean at number one. Now, let's go all the way down. Oh, yes. All the way down at number 100. Billboard's Hot 100. Down from 91. But according to Wikipedia, this particular record went to number 84 on the pop chart, so we'll go with that. Guess who it is? Number 100. Billboard's Hot 100. November 26, 1961. The legendary Johnny Cash. One of his most brilliant records, Tennessee Flat Top Box. Fan fantasy, uh, I'm sorry, Tennessee Flat Top Box. Actually, that's a that's a that's a steel that's a steel string guitar, steel string acoustic guitar. Tennessee Flat Top Box. I just found that out. And uh, this song is about a little boy, little bo boy, little boy who starts out playing in the local cabarets in Southern Texas. He's playing this. Uh, he's playing the Tennessee Flat Top Box. He doesn't have any physical abilities, but he can play the guitar. And the women love him from 9 to 90. Some of them even hopped in jewelry to go up to from Austin, Houston, and go to this little border town to watch this guy play until he disappeared. And then showed back up on the charts. <laughs> there it is, number 100. Down from number 91, Johnny Cash. This Johnny Cash record, though, was not one of his biggest hits on country. Now, this was by this time, he was on the Columbia record label. He started on the Sun record label back in the 50s. And uh, and then got on with Columbia. I believe it was 1959, 1960 that Johnny Cash got on with Columbia. But uh, you might know a little bit more about that than I do. But this particular record went to number 11 on country. God, but it's a brilliant record. I love the shovel beat to this song. And uh, Roseanne Cash covered it in 1987. It's on the album called King's Record Shop. And get this. She didn't know her dad wrote the song. She thought this song was in the public doma domain. When Johnny Cash, when he when he found out that Roseanne Cash had covered his old records, one of his old records, he said it was his, one of his greatest fulfillments in his life. Johnny Cash at number 100 on Billboard's Hot 100, <laughs> Tennessee Flat Top Box. Here it is, brought to you by uh, Mr. DJ. <laughs> 